Thanks for being part of the Agile Work Environment session at the 3% Con Conference. We're super excited to be part of the conference this year. Really important objective that this conference fulfills. My name is Neil Lindsay. I'm the VP of Prime and Marketing at Amazon for the consumer business. And in my role, we're really focused on building great products and building great technologies and marketing campaigns that help our customers find that next thing they might want or need that makes their life a little bit easier, a little bit better, and a little bit more fun. And I'll tell you that uh, that requires a great deal of agility and certainly diversity, given that our customer base is extremely diverse. And we all have a lot of work to do, both in the industry and even at Amazon. Every day we need to work harder and to be better and better at attracting diverse talent and engaging that talent and remaining agile in the way we operate. And agility has probably never been more important than it is now in this pandemic situation. I certainly know for me that adapting, uh, adapting to a video conference environment has, uh, has had a big impact on my productivity and I've had to learn some new techniques and adjust my approach. Uh, there have been some positives though, and I think it's important in every situation in being agile to look for what's working and to double down on it. One of the things, for example, that I feel is a positive from this experience is actually in the video conference environment, everyone is more equal. We all have the same size square, we can see each other's names, and the opportunity to participate and to include people is actually improved, I believe, over and above what happens in a meeting room, particularly when that meeting room has some participants who are remote. So that's one positive. The other positive I think that has occurred in, in the business environment as a result of the situation is sort of an increasing sense of empathy and vulnerability amongst leaders around organizations and just in general. You know, we're all human. We all have varying degrees of empathy, but most people I know care a great deal about the people they work with. And this situation, this pandemic, has prompted our soul to bring that empathy more to the fore, I think, and to really take time to understand what each other's situation is. You know, we all are adapting to different situations. Some of us have kids and are trying to balance the work and care situation. Others have work environments now in their home office that aren't really necessarily as conducive or as productive as they'd like them to be. And taking the time to listen, to understand, and to help where possible is really important in a situation like this. One of the ways that I've been trying to make sure that I uh, share uh, my experience, uh, be empathetic, and also uh, be vulnerable is by writing an email to my entire team every couple or few weeks about a topic that's important to me. And I like the fact that this situation has prompted more of us as leaders to do that, to engage with our teams uh, on a more personal front and perhaps with uh, a lot more understanding and empathy. Lastly, I'd like to just thank you for being part of the conference and mostly for your motivation to help drive change and to bring diversity to this industry. I'm certainly looking forward to talking with my team who participated in many of these meetings and brainstorming around the things that we can do to improve our own diversity and agility as a company. And most importantly, stay safe and keep your family safe and good luck.